only thing we need to figure out is the height of the water so that when they build a dam, they can know that uh, how how long they have to build the dam or how they have to build the dam. So, so in that case, that the water from the other side won't crack into the wall. Today I came to an amazing place called Cotton Dam. Behind me is the Cotton River, and behind this wall is the Cotton Reserve Wall. Now you might think, why? Today I'm going to show you the map behind a river dam. You might think, why do we need maps to figure out how to build a dam? Well, engineers need that because they need to figure out the pressure of the water behind the water behind the reservoir, so that when the water pours or the pressure of the water hits the dam, then the dam won't break, won't collapse, and all the water won't come into the area of flood. So that's why they need the map. But how will they figure that out? Today I'm going to show you that. Okay, so everybody knows that the pressure of the water is equal to the force divided by the area. Okay? And how do we know that? Because the less the area, the more the pressure. The more the area, the less the pressure. That is why the wall is shaped as a trapezoid. Because here is more area. And that means less pressure. Okay? And now, to figure out the pressure, everybody knows the area. But we have to figure out the force. Force is equal to mass of the water behind the reservoir times the gravity. Okay? And because of that, we know the gravity, but we have to figure out the mass because we don't know the mass. The mass is equal to the density of the water or rho times uh, rho times the height of the water times the area. Again, okay? That's the mass. Now we're going to enter that in that equation. So force is equal to, I'm going to enter that here, rho times height of the water times area, and then there, times gravity. Okay, now we figure out force. Figure out the pressure. Bench is a little, and so now you guys know how engineers use open map 